What's going on YouTube? This is the re-uploaded and revised uh, edition of how to change your NAT type on an AT&T U-verse modem, particularly a Motorola NVG510 modem. And in this video, you will be able to see what the modem looks like for further reference. So basically, in the other video, I just had a piece of paper and I got a lot of messages telling me to actually do it on my computer. And sorry guys, I've been out of town, but hopefully this is going to uh, put all the questions to rest. So what you're going to want to put into your search engine, Google Chrome, whatever you have, you're going to want to put in this 192, sorry, point one six eight point one two five four. okay? And when you put that in, it's going to take you to this start page. There it is one more time. To this start page. This is the home page for your Motorola modem. It may be different on other modems, but this is how to do it on an AT&T U-verse uh, network. So, in the previous video, I said you're going to want to go to the firewall section. And you can see that right there with all these other things. Firewall. You're going to want to click on firewall, okay? And you're going to see all of these. Packet filter, IP pass through, and the one that we're going to be looking for right now is IP pass through. And currently, I have that off. And uh, I do not have my Xbox set up, so I'm not going to be turning it on for you guys. I'm just going to be showing you how. And I'm also going to be showing you a second way to also improve your net connection for gaming or whatever you do. I know Modern Warfare 3 has a, uh, a NAT setting, and so does Black Ops 2, probably, if you're watching this in the future. So. You're going to want to go to the subcategory under firewall called IP pass through. You're going to click that and it's going to take you to this. You're going to want to have your access code handy so you can enter it right here. So I'm just going to uh, bear with me so I can enter my code real quickly. 379. I don't know why I'm telling you guys it, but. <laughs> so you're going to enter in your code there and it's going to give you, it's going to take you to this. Um, to this page, sorry to scroll down. And here's your IP pass through. And you're gonna want to go to the thing that says allocation mode. You can see it right there, and there's gonna be this drop down box. A lot of people didn't know what I was talking about here. And see the rest of this stuff, default server pass through mode, you're gonna leave that completely alone. So you're gonna drop down it and turn it to dis default server. I'm sorry, turn it to pass through, not default server pass through okay and when you click on that it's gonna uh, do it and then you're gonna have to save this is important you're gonna have to save but like I said I'm not going to save it once you save it it's going to ha ask you to re uh, start your system and it should do it automatically for you I'm sorry like I said my Xbox is not connected so I'm not going to be rebooting my uh, device but it should do it automatically for you I think it takes three minutes or two minutes and it's going to give you a countdown on the screen and you're just going to go on for there from there. Here is the second way how to do it guys, okay? Once again, uh, you're going to go into the firewall section, okay? And does this category look familiar? NAT slash gaming? Boom. Now I found if you just do this, it won't particularly save your problem. So I really do recommend doing allocation mode because this may just not fix your uh, problem. So as you can see right there, I have uh, something under NAT Gaming called Hosted Applications. And this is something that basically is an application that the Motorola and AT&T network will recognize when you're using it. So what does mine say right there? Xbox Live 360, and it's going to give you your device number, okay? So I'm just going to um, delete this so I can show you guys how to do it. So you're going to go ahead and delete the Xbox. Um, I'm sorry, I do not know why this is not working. There we go. There we go. Change is saved. So you're going to have this thing called applications. You're going to go to services. And sorry if this is a little shaky, guys. I'm holding my arm up. Let me switch arms. You're going to go to applications, and you're going to scroll all the way down. And once again, this is for Xbox. So I'm not sure if this is for PlayStation. Let me check to see if there is PlayStation. There is PlayStation Network. So, first you can do PlayStation Network, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it for Xbox, 
and it is the exact same. Just know that. And Xbox actually has a couple categories. Xbox 360 and Xbox 360 Media Center. Media Center does not affect it whatsoever. So you're going to click Xbox Live 360 and you're going to do Need it by Device, okay? And you're not going to do Delessio PC. That's that's my uh, my PC that I'm using right now. That's not what you want. You're going to want this right here. 192.168.1.109 And I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to mention this to you, but I do not have my Xbox connected, so it should be a different number because your Xbox will be connected to the internet or your PlayStation. So your Xbox will have a different number. It's not going to say Xbox, but see, this is my PC. This is the PC that I'm on right now. I do not want this Xbox going to PC, so do not click that. And this is for my other computer. This is not an Xbox. But if you have your Xbox connected, you should see another... Uh, uh, what do they call those? IP address or something. And just to reiterate, you can check your IP address in the Xbox 360 uh, network settings. You can see the uh, the IP address that's used there. It'll say 192, whatever. I'm sorry, I really do not have my Xbox with me, so this may be a little difficult to understand this part. But you're going to just add that, okay? You're going to click Add. Sorry, it, it takes a little while after you click Add. You're going to click Add, and uh, a required setting is empty. That is because I do not have the Xbox hooked up, so I, it's empty. They don't know what to put it to. Okay, guys? But just to tell you, that's how you do it. And then remember, guys, you can do it for PlayStation as well. And if you have PC games, you can also do this. Need for Speed, uh, Battlefield, whatever. But like I said, there is... PlayStation right there. So you can just click PlayStation. And that should do it for you guys. Just make sure you, uh, it'll save the changes automatically. And then, you know, just go back to your AT&T uh, device right here. And that should save everything for you. And just uh, turn off your Xbox, maybe unplug it to see if the NAT type has changed. And remember, allocation mode needs to be on. Save that. And the NAT gaming could be the Xbox 360 media center or playstation just uh remember to check the xbox 360 um settings in the ip address and it should tell you which one to connect to guys if you have any questions once again please rate comment and subscribe and i would really uh appreciate if you did that and i'll really try and do my best to answer any questions or possibly do a re-updated video if you guys even need that so i'm going to try and make this uh Pretty short and quick. Thank you guys very much. And uh, if you need anything, once again, just comment and uh, PM me. Thank you guys very much. Have a nice day. Bye.